Hey everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. It's Friday, it's time for empties. I did pretty good downstairs, upstairs not so much. I've only got a couple of things up there. I think I was just like so tired when I went to bed last week. I just like, I couldn't even bother to change the wax. I just went to bed and whatever. Anyhow, so where should we start? Okay, let's start here with these bags. Um, vintage Rogue Candles, Cranberry Orange Sugar Cookies. And looking for a date, I didn't date it. Oh yes, there is a uh, poor date was January, 2019. So this is like, you know, a year and three months, whatever. Um, it was good, I enjoyed the scent. The throw was not great. It is over a year old though. So, you know, no fault probably of that. But uh, cranberry orange sugar cookies, it was good. Uh, from Rainbow Melts, I thought I just had another one in my hand. Oh, it fell down. So tired. All right. Work has been so, so crazy. Lots and lots of people coming to the hospital and they shouldn't. Okay. From Rainbow Melts, caramel coffee, zucchini bread, buttery caramel, sweet coffee, and zucchini bread. This I really enjoyed because I do like coffee and I do like zucchini bread. And another one from, and that was from the coffee, uh, the coffee sampler, maybe, I don't know when it was out, maybe February, March. And Coffee Made Me Do It, with, which is Cafe Espresso, Lavender Sugar Cookie, and Whipped Cream. And this one, if I can recall, I don't think it was strong on lavender. Correct. Um, it was mainly just the espresso, which was fine with me. I really enjoyed it. From Goose Creek, Cherry Cobbler. This is really good. And... Um, Definitely cherry first and not, you know, sometimes cherry, pistachio, almond can kind of all kind of run into the same family. This didn't. This was a very fruity cherry. I really like that one. Okay. Oh, also from Rainbow Melts, Clean as a Whistle, which is lav Lavender Fabulosa. And that was from a um, laundry sampler from last February. And I actually like that one. And Black Sea, which is sea salt, ozone, plum, citrus, amber, and black musk. And I really enjoyed that one as well. Even though it does have amber in it. But um, definitely get the plum in this. The plum and the amber and the sea salt slash ozone, that fresh air feeling thing, whatever. Okay. Last week, I was so excited. I thought I finished all my Walmart wax because I had three bins and they're all empty now. But then, no, I forgot I have another small bin up top with some Yankee um, Yankee candle melts and some of the, like, duos. So I do have a little bit more left that I'll probably finish over the next couple of weeks. But anyway, this was a duo from Sensational's Take Me to Paris, which is Pear Blossom and Moon Garden. This was okay. It was a little floral for me. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, I was going to say I didn't get much pear, but it says pear blossom. So yeah, it was, it was definitely floral. If you like florals, give this one a try. You probably will like it. And the throw was pretty good. Oh, I forgot to mention the throw and the other ones. The rainbow mouths were all seven, eight out of 10. Um, but anyway, yes, this one also was pretty good. Seven, seven and a half, but it's definitely floral. This one, I just had two cubes left, so I went ahead and finished it. I've had this since April of 2018, so that's two years old, Meadow Showers, and I really like this one a lot. This one, this one was a repurchase for me. This is Irish Spring Soap. If you like Irish Spring, get this. You'll love it. I had a couple cubes left of this. I thought I had finished it, but I didn't. Savory Blackberry Cobbler, so, so yummy. Oh my God, it's really just like warm cobbler right out of the oven. So good. And from Better Homes and Gardens, Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. And this one I didn't care for. Um, there's a couple that I do like. The one I like the best is uh, lemongrass and ginger. It's like walking into a Thai restaurant. It's so good. Um, this one, I don't know. I think it was I think, I guess I'm going to say it was the Ylang Ylang because I know what Jasmine smells like, but the other one, I don't necessarily really know what that smells like. So I, I'm going to say that that's what I don't like. Um, 
I ended up taking it out like after an hour to two, one to two hours. So yeah, I have a lot of Scentsy, uh, Cozy Spice. I finished this one. I think one night, I don't know, if, did I pull it in my melting basket or did I just feel like melting it? I don't know. But anyway, I really, really like that one. Uh, Indigo Cotton, also really loved this one. Definitely clean cotton. It has an itsy bitsy teensy weensy perfume note to it. Sometimes laundry scents can do that. I mean, but still, I mean, itsy bitsy. It was really good. It's like clean cotton. I really enjoyed that one. Okay. Uh, Mad About Mint was this week's um, Scentsy Saturday. So you'll hear about that tomorrow. So I'm not going to say about that. Uh, Buzzworthy is the May scent of the month, and I really like this. I was very surprised. It's um, it's almond and uh, honey and let's see. Buzzworthy is. Those geckos tease those cats like nothing. I'm sure they're doing it on purpose. Top notes, honey, freesia, and chamomile. Mid notes, shaved almond, crushed walnut, and clove, clove leaf. Base notes of creamy white woods and vanilla bean. I did not think I was going to like this. I'm not a fan of almond scents. I'm not a fan of honey scents. However, I really enjoy this one. I really, really do. Um, and I made some tarts because I have some honeybee molds. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. But this is really good. Funny thing is, um, it turns a little... <laughs> Roxy's going crazy from that gecko. Um, it smells a little powdery. It's like I... This is the only thing I can think that it's com comparable to. Is if you took a whole bunch of honey and you freeze dried it. And then you pulverize it into a powder and added a little bit of baby powder in there too, but it's still honey. That's kind of what it smells like, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, Blood Orange Spice, which was last week's um, Scentsy Saturday. And I didn't care for this one. It's very heavy on the cinnamon. It kind of drowned everything out. I didn't, I was really missing the Blood Orange Citrus notes. It was not there at all. And then I started this week on Wednesday or whatever day it was. It was Wednesday. Um, a little mini series melting all the bakery scents in the catalog. And so I'll do four more this week and four more the following week. So I've, all of these bakery scents I have and we're melting them. So both the reviews are up already on that little bakery. I think it's called a Scentsy Bake Shop is what it's called. Uh, caramel sugar cone and apple butter frosting. This one I know is super duper popular. I did not really care for it. There's cinnamon and something else that I did not care for in this one. And caramel sugar cone. Um, yeah, there's something in here. Oh, I know. It's the malt. I think, right. The malt. I don't know what malt smells like, but a couple of my uh, subscribers said it's probably the malt and they were describing malt. So I think that's what it is. So I didn't really love that one either. But the what, the other two I melted this week were malt kadoodle and um, toasted marshmallow, which were both really good. So I did save some of those leftovers to, I think I'm gonna melt those together. Um, and also toasted marshmallow, Johanna said is good with bonfire beach so try that also okay oh no i've got four little in my little um tea light warmers i did some tea light melting amazon rain of my testers uh this amazon rain is really good if you like fresh clean ozone airy whatever amazon rain is really good um pineapple pucker definitely has a pineapple kick to it yeah if you like pineapple you're gonna like that one not so much me uh, Just Breathe was really good. And Just Breathe is um, one that lots of people like if they're sick, if they're congested, whatever, they will melt Just Breathe. And it is 
Breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus. Huh. Soothing eucalyptus. Less, less examine. Oh, I'm so tired. Soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints. Comfort and rejuvenate. There, got it out. So lots of people do that one when they're sick. Just breathe. In Atlantic Air, Atlantic Air I love even better than uh, Amazon Rain. This one is just like breezy, clothes blowing on the line, if that makes any sense. That's what that is, and that's Atlantic Air. We like that one. Okay, very quickly, we will do what upstairs because there's not much up here. I did, and I have another tea light warmer in my bedroom. I did now in Zen. Um, this, I don't know if I got this in Canada or if I got it here. Oh yeah, made in Canada. I guess I did. Oh no, no, mom sent me this for Christmas. That's right, mom sent me this for Christmas. It's a Glade Clean Linen. It is a very clean linen scent, just like it says. Nothing, nothing too, you know, conceptual or unique or whatever. Uh, but the throw on this one was pretty light. And I, I mean, I had it in a full-size bathroom upstairs and it was still like, it was okay, five to six, but I just thought in a smaller room, it would have been small, uh, stronger. Eskimo Kiss from uh, Scentsy. This one was going in my bedroom. I really enjoy that one. Uh, from Rainbow Melts. Oh, this was really good. This was a sample called Fresh Start. It was Game, Greek Island Breeze, and Clean Breeze. This was really good. If you like laundry scents, you will like it. What did I say it was called? Fresh Start. And I, I melted this in my bedroom one night. It was really good. Um, another sample is Cinnamon Crunch, which is sweet cinnamon toast and crunchy sugar cookies. Was not a fan of this just because I'm not a fan of that much cinnamon. Um, and another sample. Oh, this one was really good. And I was surprised because neither one of these are in my love it book. Lavender Patchouli, which is garden lavender, cedar, and patchouli. And this one I actually really enjoyed. I would purchase this one again. Lavender Patchouli. And this was an old one from Rainbow Melts from 2018. Caramel Kettle, ah, Caramel Kettle Corn Marshmallow Crispy. So tired. But that was good too. However, I must say, although I liked the scent, the throw on this one was medium at best. Like I'm going to say a six. And I had this in the spare room going. And But again, this is an, a year and a half old, so no judgment there. Okay, so that is it for me. I'm going to take a very hot bath and a big glass of wine. Now, see that box? There's some smelly stuff in that, so I'm going to haul that this weekend. Maybe, no, probably some tomorrow or the next day, probably, I'm going to do that. Tomorrow, I'm having a cook-along. We're going to be making... Um, we are going to be making, not stromboli. I, I'm i so sorry. I can't even remember what we're going to, I know what we're going to be making, you know, pizza dough folded over. It's called, sorry, walks. What is it called? Calzones. Oh my God. I am so sorry. We're making calzones tomorrow. Okay. And to make the calzones, I'll post the recipe, um, down below. If you want to follow it, I'll follow along. Well, you won't be following along because it won't be live. However, my friend Joshua said I should do a live cook along. And that was a little intimidating because I'm not going to be able to follow the screen or look at your comments. Maybe next time I'll do a live cook along. I don't know. I just didn't want to you know, people think I'm ignoring you and I'm trying to cook at the same time and look at the comments and back and forth. So I just didn't think that would work, but maybe I'll try another time. So yeah, tomorrow we're making calzones. I'm making it with the homemade, with the pre-made pizza dough from uh, Trader Joe's. It's in their deli section. It's all pre-made. You just put it out like a couple hours ahead, let it come to room temperature. There's two kinds, just a regular pizza dough and the herb and garlic pizza dough. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So, yes, so I think that is it. Tomorrow, Sensi Saturday, we're gonna do the cook along, gonna do it with the big haul this weekend of that big box right there. And um, 
Oh, also this weekend, I'm going to preview the um, May scent and warmer of the month because I know I've talked about the scent a couple of times, but I need to show you the warmer. So it's really, really nice. Actually, that's it right there. Right there. That's the be kind warmer for the scent for the month of May. Okay, rambling on. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you tomorrow for the cook along. I hope you're there. Bye.